A little girl is shot on her way to her grandmother's house in Southeast DC. This child was just six, six years old and had just finished her first day back to school. Now she's got a bullet lodged in her leg after this drive by shooting that happened last night. And the bad guy who did it still out there on the streets. WSN9's Michael Quandra explains the girl's family does not believe she was the intended target. I heard some go boom, 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 boom. Gunshots. Oh my God, oh my God, they're shooting, they're shooting at the truck, oh my God. A grandmother describes the terrifying moments her six-year-old granddaughter was hit in a drive-by shooting Monday night. I saw all this blood, and I was like, oh my God, I'm, you know, they shot each other, y'all got shot. We're not showing her face or using her name because this shooting happened right on her block. She fears the gunman may come back. I'm really afraid because we don't know what the purpose was for, who, what, and why. You see, all of this went down around 845 Monday night on 56 between A Street and Ayers Place in Southeast. Police say the six-year-old was sitting in a car with her mom and sister when someone drove up, fired several shots, and then drove away. She's really shaking. All three of them are. The six-year-old was the only one shot, but police say her mother and sister were hit with glass and bullet fragments. That bullet still stuck in the little girl's leg. Then the second thing came to my head was the little girl who got killed over there in Clay Terrace. All of this comes at the same time the city is still coping with losing Micaiah Wilson. She's the 10-year-old who was shot when these guys opened fire on a crowd in Northeast and a 15-year-old who was shot in Kenilworth on Sunday. Shouldn't nobody have to go through that, and especially our babies, our little babies, with reckless people getting these weapons. In this latest case, police know they're at least looking for one person, but the family says there may have been two people in the car. I pray that they will turn their self in so they could find peace within their self of doing this crime. Reporting in Southeast, Michael Quander, WUSA 9. All right, so here's what police say they're looking for. An older model four door Lexus or Acura with a wing on the back. Spoiler. If you think you may have seen a car matching that description, the family is asking that you call police. Remember, you can call police and any tips that you make can be made anonymously.